Hello, you are welcome to solve for a and b in this nice system of equation. We have that this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. And from equation 1, this is a plus b equals to 10. Here, let's take a to this side and we have b now equals to 10 minus a. And from equation 2 here, which is a times b equals to 150, let's substitute for b here, that is this becomes a times 10 minus a now, then which is equal to 150. Then from here, when we open this bracket, this becomes 10a minus a square equals to 150 from here. Then we can rearrange this to form an equation by taking everything to one side and rearrange and this becomes a square then minus 10a plus 150 is equals to zero. Then we can solve this quadratic equation using the formula a here will be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus four minus four ac over two a. And in this case, in this formula a is the coefficient of this a square which is one. B is minus 10 and C is 150. That is, the solution here A is a minus minus 10, then plus or minus square root of, we have minus 10 square, then minus 4 times 1 times 150 times 150. Then over 2 times 1. Then here a will now be equal to 10 plus or minus square root of here we have 100. Then we have 4 times 150 we have minus 600. Then over 2. Then from here a becomes 10 plus or minus here we can factor 100 out here then we have 1 minus 6 left inside here over 2 and from here when we have root a times b we can write this as root a times root b that is when we separate this, we have a now equals to 10 plus or minus. Here we have root 100 times root 1 minus 6, which is minus 5. Then over 2. Then here we have a now equals to 10 plus or minus root 100 here is 10. Then we have root minus 5, that's root 5. Then I because root minus 1 is equal to I. Then from here, this is divided by 2, and which we can also separate as here becomes A equals to 10 over 2 plus or minus 10 root 5 I over 2, which is A now equals to here we have 5. Plus or minus, also we have 5 root 5i. That is, here we have two cases for a. We have a1, the first a we have 5 plus 5 root 5i. And we have the second value of a, that's a2, equal to 5 minus 5 root 5i. Then from here, we can get the corresponding value of B, 
on the relation that we have which is b equals to 10 minus a so using this here we have the b1 now will be equals to 10 minus a1 which is 5 plus 5 root 5 r then from here this becomes b1 now equals to 10 minus 5 then minus 5 root 5 i as 5 as minus open the bracket then b1 here equals to here we have 10 minus 5 5 then minus 5 root 5 i then we have the first set of solution which is a1 comma b1 we now be equals to a1 here we have 5 plus 5 root 5 r then comma b1 we have 5 minus 5 root 5 r then also on this side we can get a b2 from the same relation here so b2 here b equals to 10 minus a2 which is 5 minus 5 root 5 r then here b2 now equals to here when we open this bracket here we have 10 minus 5 10 plus 5 root 5 r which becomes b2 equals to 5 plus 5 root 5 r and also we have the second set of solution here which is a2 comma b2 which is now equals to we have a2 there we have 5 minus 5 root 5 r and b2 we have 5 plus 5 root 5 r then here we have these two sets of solutions which are complex solutions and also a1 here same thing as b2 here and b1 same thing as a2 now let's check if this satisfies the given problem on the first equation which is a plus b equals to 10 now using this first set of solution here that is we have a now which is 5 plus 5 root 5 i then plus b which is 5 minus 5 root 5 i with this be equal to 10 then here 5 my 5 root 5 i then minus 5 root 5 i we cancel out then we have 5 plus 5 which is 10 which is equal to 10 and left hand side equals to right hand side so it satisfies the first equation there then for the second equation also which is a times b equals to 150 so we have a which is 5 plus 5 root 5 r then times b that's into bracket b now 5 minus 5 root 5 r will this be equals to 150 then here it follows from when we have a plus b then times a minus b and this simply a square minus b square that is here we can write it as 5 square minus 5 root 5 i all square and from here this becomes 5 square that's 25 then minus here what we have square will affect each of this which is 5 square then root 5 square that will be 5 then times i square and i square here will be minus 1 because here we have root minus 1 equals to i so i square will be minus 1 so this is times minus 1 now then which implies what we have now will become 25 
minus we have 5 square that's 25 of course minus times minus here with a plus then 25 times 5 that's 125 and with this we equal to 150 and when we sum this here we have 150 which is equal to 150 also left hand side equals the right hand side and hence this satisfies these two equations and also equally this also will satisfy and here we come to the end of the class thank you for joining us don't forget this step subscribe to my channel and share this video with your mates another way of solving this put it in the comment section see you in the class and bye for now